us. Uh, welcome all uh, to the Alumni GMeet uh, series. So today is the 19th talk in this Alumni GMeet. And we have Rukmini from the 2013 batch. As uh, I, uh, as you would have noticed uh, in the invitation email, uh, short bio which I have circulated of her, she wears uh, now three colorful hats and manages all of that extremely fine. She is a mother of an eight-year-old, uh, sorry, eight months old kid. So as a recent uh, newborn, she is a very good blogger, uh, writing on multiple topics that one can think of, be it sports, food, uh, uh, or festivals, or poems, and so on and so forth. And uh, professionally, she is uh, working uh, in charge of uh, quality assurance in uh, Tata Communications, uh, uh, both uh, doing manual uh, quality assurance, and eventually, I think she is going to go for automated uh, quality assurance systems. So the topic that uh, she is going to speak is something uh, all all of us, or at least the students or young graduates when they get into the job, must be worrying about that, how can I pursue my passion? I think uh, today's uh, speaker is one very apt person uh, to tell us how she manages time, or rather how she commands her time uh, to follow her passion. With this very short description, I welcome all the people uh, for this uh, GMeet session. Thank you, Rukmini, uh, that uh, in this very uh, tight situation of being a mother with, of Srinika, eight month old baby, still you could uh, give us time, still you could give time for your alma mater. That's a uh, hats off to you. Uh, very much thankful for your time. Uh, you can continue now. Um, okay. Okay. Sharing, okay. 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 Yeah, there is. Yes, yes. Okay. Just a minute. Mm, so, uh, thank you, sir. And uh, I uh, I also thank um, one and all for joining uh, this session despite uh, your uh, busy schedule. And I hope you're all staying safe in your uh, respective places. Thank you, Narayan sir, and uh, thank you, Shastra community, for this wonderful platform where uh, people can come and share uh, their ideas. Uh, it's it's really great uh, to know about how uh, people are in their lives and how many things have inspired them. Uh, and uh, uh, this G Talk series is uh, really amazing. So I'm really happy to be part of it. And uh, I do not know like if I really command time because we are all bound to time in one way or the other. We just manage time. That's what uh, we actually do. And uh, today I would like to share with you like how uh, passion changed my life and how it can change yours too. So that's what uh, I would like to speak for the day. And uh, uh, so finding your passion. Before uh, telling you like how you can find your passion, I will just like to say uh, say like how I found my passion. So um, I was a day scholar uh, till my college days, and uh, uh, only for my job I went to Chennai. But Chennai isn't new to me. Right from my childhood, uh, Chennai is very close to me actually. But the whole concept of staying in a PG away from home was really new to me. So my uh, initial days at PG was actually great. Like four months were, uh, the first four months were really great. And I thought like I have uh, I have outgrown this homesickness. So that's what people want me. Uh, like you might get into homesickness and that could be really uh, worrying for you. But the initial four months were really cakewalk for me. But And I thought like I, have, I had outgrown uh, my homesickness. But only after four months, uh, it really, uh, uh, had an impact on me and I was uh, the verge of depression and uh, I was into insomnia so um, I used to cry profusely and uh, I was caught in a negative cycle which I was not able to come out at all so I did meet few doctors uh, 
to come out of uh, this particular negative cycle but uh, they just wanted me to try by myself before uh, getting to any of the medications and uh, they thought that uh, it isn't required actually with one's effort we can really come out that's what they said and they are uh, to sleep uh, to have a better sleep they just suggested me to exhaust myself physically so they suggested me to go for long walks and what i usually do was uh, at that time i used to walk at a stretch for 3 kilometers to sleep but something was missing something uh, so uh, shaking was missing in me to come out entirely i was still in the negative cycle actually and uh, it was my mother uh, who suggested me to go and meet my school mentor in uh, one of my uh, visits to hometown and when i went and met him uh, he said like uh, see you are not like the usual self uh, it is because you are uh, actually treating your mind like an unclean garbage bin that's what he said uh, to be uh, exact but it, it was very rude and uh, sharp on me but uh, whatever he said was exactly right i was indeed uh, putting so many stops into my mind which is not at all required and uh, i said like okay i know uh, i know uh, what was uh, what were you are telling is true but i do not know like how i can come out of this so he suggested me to go into journaling uh, so that uh, i asked like what, what what is the advantage of doing journaling at this point of time he said that like once you start writing uh, your mind will think like whatever emotions or whatever thing that is there in your mind it will go into paper and your mind will feel safe it is there somewhere so that i need not take care that is the trick uh, he gave uh, to uh, calm my mind so eventually i thought like okay i i didn't have any other option rather than following that particular thing so i started writing slowly and uh, um so he also stated that once you flush out of your negativity you should look for more positive aspects in life then i uh, decided like okay uh, i should be feeding more of positive thoughts and as i started writing i just found myself in writing and i really felt uh, very lighter uh, day by day as i continued journaling so that is how uh, i i actually started writing initially and uh, um so i also um, so uh, to start with what i did is like uh, i i i was really excited about writing and i started writing about uh, cricket uh, status most of my batchmates know that i'm a avid uh, cricket fan but i also do not know like how many of them blocked me on facebook for spamming their walls with so many cricket status time and again but uh, to me it was uh, uh, it was giving so much happiness so uh, why i took uh, sports for the in the first place is like uh, sports is something always positive it keeps you in the present both the player and the viewer they will be in the present always so that's why i took sports as the first thing and i started exploring with sports on putting status on facebook so then slowly i thought like okay let me just um, go with the other things as well so i started exploring with movies and poems tamil literature and many more things followed after that so why am i sharing this at uh, this situation in this talk to you all is i do not know like how many of you are feeling low at this point of time and you are caught in your negative cycle so if if you are one such person i would just suggest you to hang in there because um you can find yourself uh, and you can find your passion even at this point of time so uh, that is why i just wanted to share you uh, here and uh, life's best lesson it always comes from uh, uh, difficult times and just believe that uh, better days are always coming okay so never uh, never quit and never uh, feel dejected just because you have got in a negative cycle the next day can really become a better day and you can really find your passion even at your lowest point and uh, the next uh, uh, the frequent question i always get is was chemical engineering not my passion so many of many of uh, many people uh, do ask me like you read chemical engineering and now you are working in it and you tell you are saying that uh, writing is your passion so was chemical engineering not your passion that's the common question i get uh to put it straight it was my passion and it, it is still my passion it is just not paying my bills actually and the education to me is not about money it is much more than that actually it can help you uh, in ways you can't even imagine it can uh, whatever you read before it can help you to write uh, or uh, create some art form 
um, which was uh, which you wanted to do actually. So and I still see cooking, uh, saving, and drying as a part of chemical engineering. And there are many more women around you in the surroundings, which you can marvel at uh, and see the engineering thing unfold in front of you. It could be even a river flowing. You can relate to velocity or whatever. It could be even the slightest of the thing, which can really um, uh, see. Uh, you can see the engineering behind it, and. Um, it is absolutely okay to switch fields because of the situation or uh, sometimes your learning curve uh, may not be spiking in whatever you are doing. So uh, I also would like to share that I was actually working in engineering industrial services part of uh, TCS in general electric project for more than three years. So I was working on the turbine exhaust part uh, in a system called sun, uh, in, in the system called continuous emission monitoring system. So what happened is like after uh, after a point of time, uh, I didn't feel uh, I didn't really feel good about doing the job, and moreover, I was I was just married around that time, and it was really daunting for me to travel from Saidapet to Sudhaseri and do something that that didn't interest me at all. And it was my husband who uh, motivated uh, me to just. Uh, try something new and learn something new and he suggested me to take up uh, quality assurance for the fact and uh, also uh, I also thought like my my husband is already working in quality assurance and I thought like I can actually if at all I have any doubts I can actually get back to him which I didn't do till now that's a different story altogether but still uh, the switching really helped me in many more uh, ways uh, I, I got to learn something new which was very exciting and uh, uh, I just wanted to tell that it is absolutely okay to switch fields due to situation or it may not even be productive for you or for whatever you are working. In that case, it is it is okay to switch fields and you need not feel bad about uh, studying something and being in another field uh, or uh, doing something else. It's, it's absolutely okay until unless you have given your heart and you have done that because passions do change and uh, uh, your, the ultimate thing is like your learning curve should not dip. That is the only thing. Uh, next, uh, I will just uh, wanted to share with you like why it is important for you to find your passion. See, as the quote says, uh, something if you create something that is already not present, the world around you will actually brighten up. And passion can really help you in various ways. Uh, as stated, as stated earlier from how I found my passion, uh, good mental health, uh, and I, it can really, uh, it can be really got from passion and also you can know yourself in a better way. And uh, it, it can help you to process emotions in a better format. Like just like going for a tea break, you can also take a hobby break and uh, uh, get things into perspective. See, like you have so many things to do and it is all overwhelming. So some people will go for a tea break. They will go for a walk for 20 minutes. And uh, so, uh, I usually uh, take a hobby break and just do something different for 20 minutes. And then when I come back to work, it gives a better uh, focus and uh, uh, it all many things would be clear at that point of time. So that can really happen with uh, passion. Uh, I have seen people doodling for a few minutes and then when they get back to work, they are more productive. So such things for such things, passion really helps. And it can help to heal yourself and it can also help in uh, healing others. How about healing yourself in the sense uh, is like uh, you, you, will, you will be better in your emotions and healing others is like if you share a piece of art with someone else that you have created, you can bring smile in their face as well. So that's the greatest thing you can uh, do uh, in your life, and uh, uh, you can you, it it over overall it improves your lifestyle. Like it gives better focus. You'll be better at your productivity, and uh, you'll be better at time management. And uh, how how about time management in the sense like if you have a passion and you want to do something, you will finish all your courses in one by one with uh, with full of josh in just to finish your uh, just to get, get hit the desk and do uh, what you love so in that way it will really help you to manage your time in a better way and uh, you can also have genuine connections see in this pandemic situation i do see a lot of people come uh, coming to social media and sharing their work and uh, that is there are there is some real appreciation being uh, exchanged from one person to another 
so that is what the world needs actually uh, who appreciate genuinely as you as you um, as you give more appreciation and more love it will actually come back to you in uh, multiple folds and that will actually uh, calm you and uh, uh, you will you will feel uh, you will feel alive you will not be just merely existing there okay so uh, the next is like what stops us from finding our passion so for whatever thing uh, we want to we, whenever we want to do something good there is always something that stops us so for passion i would like to call this as a 5 minute syndrome okay so how, what is this 5 minute syndrome is it is nothing like it is nothing but like uh, when you hit the snooze button uh, when you want to wake up actually so you just think like uh, i will sleep for 5 more minutes and it is just gone you will be sleeping for the next 5 hours and only uh, this is what um, takes different forms like uh, you feel uh, you keep telling like i do not have no time uh, i just do not want this routine to be changed or it could be laziness and uh, which will uh, ultimately if you have already found your passion and you lack consistency and that's what happens and i just in this i just want to address this particular point uh, which is instant gratification so in this digital era this is actually widely seen so with a single piece of art we want to become famous even i was there like uh, i used to post something on social media and i should i will be keep uh, seeing now checking now and then like how many people have liked how many people have commented so over a period of period of time uh, i could really feel that this is not uh, this is not something that i should be doing so i should do the art for the art sake and uh, it should not be uh, like it should not stress me the art is itself to relax you but as you go behind the instant gratification aspect uh, it will actually stress you and it will uh, stop you from pursuing the passion further and uh, uh, we are actually masters at excuses or procrastination or self doubt we, we in fact uh, we have got phd's in all those and uh, we will not explain further so we should be uh, in this digital era uh, we should be really careful about uh, the instant gratification aspect and uh, i will just like to quickly run through on all uh, these three aspects uh, uh, these slides so it's uh, how passion can impact with uh, your phases of life okay so when uh, when i was single i was mostly distracted and there was more uh, pressure with the prior peer acceptance okay how distraction is like uh, you will be mindlessly scrolling you just want to go out very often and uh, I, i'm not against going out at all uh, but every day or every week if you keep going out that will that will not there you will not have any time to do whatever you love and uh, if you want to do something and if you want to know about yourself uh, solitude is the best place to be in so uh, you can actually uh, uh, feel the bliss in solitude and uh, you can go further so uh, when you are single you will be more uh, mostly subjected to distraction and uh, how come peer acceptance come here is like if in a gang of friends uh, one could be talented okay and if he showcases his talent uh, one among his friends would casually pass a comment stating that this wouldn't suit us or they would just tell that namak idala theveye illa namma gang ki idala set e agadu so sometimes the comment could be just casual okay and sometimes it could be out of jealousy also but we do not know but the person who is in the receiving end uh, he would he would go into the shell hello so i i think rupesh's uh, uh, connection got cut i suppose yes sir let, let me check with her yeah kirti dane yeah kirti yes yes yeah
ஹலோ ஆ ருக்மினி ஹா ஐம் சாரி சாரி சார் தி கனெக்ஷன் வாஸ் லாஸ்ட் अगेन ரைட் ரைட் நோ इशू கேன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் கண்டினியூ ஷேரிங் யா ஷேரிங் வந்தா மீ अगेन யூ புட் தி ஷேரிங் ஆ ஓகே ஐ டோன்ட் திங்க் ஐ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு ஷேர் बिकॉज இட் இஸ் வெரி ஸ்லோ இட் இஸ் நாட் பிரசன்ட் நோ इशू ரைட் அப்போ அப்படியே கண்டினியூ ஜஸ்ட் யா ஓகே so uh, the peer acceptance will take uh, the person into the shell and uh, the saddest part is that he will not even know that uh, um, he is into the uh, shell actually uh, that that is the biggest issue uh, in uh, peer acceptance and uh, uh, the next uh, uh, thing is like uh, when when you are in the transition phase from single to getting married people think that like we will be happy only when we are uh, uh, single and uh, that that actually really takes toll on them uh, and uh, people do not realize that happiness is just a state of mind and it has nothing to do with the relationship and uh, the relationship is the place where uh, people can actually grow together so it could uh, it could be a, 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 it could be anything like uh, even a healthy discussion or the quality time uh, spent with the spouse can be uh, uh really great uh once uh, one when one has a passion you can actually share uh, about all those and it can actually motivate the spouse as well rather than simply discussing about uh, what did the ex tell about my family or what did the y uh, tell about uh, how i should be living we can actually uh, discuss something productive and something useful for uh, uh, both of us so in that way uh, uh, a, a passion can really uh, take the connection to the next level and uh, one of the biggest thing that stops a person from pursuing a passion after getting married is that we just uh, want to prove that i am the superhero or i am the superhuman we just want to get that particular tag we never openly ask for help to other people that is the biggest uh, problem so we think that asking for help uh, is a, a, is a sign of weakness we do not rest, we do not uh, think like uh, why don't uh, why don't we request them and why don't we just do uh, what we love some uh, for, uh, what we love uh, for quite some time so it can actually uh, it can act, uh, it can happen by mutual uh, understanding like one week uh, if you uh, you need not do all the thing like cooking cleaning uh, taking the baby out everything cannot be done only by uh, need not be done only by the one person sometimes you can just uh, request other people to do uh, other person to do and in that way it can actually have a mutual um, give and take uh, in a relationship and in that way you can keep pursuing uh, your passion as well then um, we uh, the other things like we do not prioritize and we do not implement at all uh, uh, when it comes to passion so these two irrespective of whatever phase we are in when we do not prioritize what we want to do uh, we always uh, lag behind and uh, that could be a major issue as well so uh, uh, when uh, speaking about pursuing your passion after uh, being in a relationship i should also tell about uh, how extremes uh, can actually affect sometimes we uh, we get into a thought like i would i would want to uh, first you a passion first you my passion all day and i will not take part in my family activities it doesn't work that way because uh, once uh, you get yourself involved either in work or in your passion so much and you leave your ba- uh, family behind for a longer time when you attain a, a success you you will not have your family uh, to um, actually support you uh, in that case uh, success uh, would not be uh, cherish cherishable okay it will not be tastier so it is always uh, uh, good if we find the balance and with balance uh, you can have your family you can have your passion and work uh, together at any uh, for lifelong for the fact and uh, uh, so if you want to start or restart uh, your uh, passion so you can look for inspiration from your surroundings so how is like you can look for your mother you can look for your sister or some you can talk to your friend with whom you admire so in that way it can be really inspiring to start or restart your uh, passion so and you can also do a self analysis like you can get into your childhood uh, uh, days and you can just think like what what was giving you happiness and uh, you can 
it's it's really good to start small like daily half an hour if you hit the desk continuously and uh, you'll be really amazed by how um, you have created something new for example if you are a painter and uh, you cannot you need not like uh, create a canvas every single day but as you just paint uh, keep painting uh, every single day by the end of the month you can actually create a wonderful painting so that that's how baby steps can really it can really amaze you for the fact and uh, you can uh, with passion uh, as i stated earlier you can you can be more genuine you can be more cognizant as well so it's it's all uh, it's all in the time management and the mindset uh, that one has and uh, it's it uh, i will just like to say that even uh, albert einstein uh, he had a violin which he named it as lena and he kept playing that every single day even his second wife has uh, stated like uh, he uh, he loves to play violin and uh, his violin has really changed his thinking and uh, only by uh, concentrating and uh, concentrating on his passion every now and then uh, he was actually able to give uh, ground uh, breaking theories so that's that, that's how uh, even uh, world famous people have uh, considered passion and uh, to finish with i would like to share this particular thing which is very close to my heart and uh, i read in an interview uh, it's it's an interview of uh, nitishri mahadevan who is a carnatic classical singer actually so uh, so uh, uh, she stated in one of her uh, interviews that uh, while giving a concert uh, one one time uh, he's uh, uh, she saw a man who is who was shabbily dressed and uh, he was looking pale he was sad and he was about to cry so uh, she kept on singing and that day concert it got over and next day she got a request uh, like uh, 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 from someone that they would like to meet her in the lobby so she accepted to that request and she went and met uh, that person uh, he, there was uh, there were he was well dressed and he was so cheerful and she asked like who is he and uh, he asked like do, don't you remember me and she said but no i do not remember you and uh, it was it was none other than the poorly uh, dressed guy the previous day so she she asked like what what is the reason you were like that and he said that like yesterday i was about to commit suicide and just because of your uh, singing just because of your music and i got uh, i got the hope and i really like to do something for the society so uh, she said that, that that is the best moment in my life and i'm really happy that my my music is able to do uh, something for uh, someone so it is not just uh, nitishri mahadevan or albert einstein so every one of us are actually born with some talent in one way or the other and uh, uh it it is up to us to find and pursue that and you do not know like what kind of impact your passion can have on someone else so uh so with this i'll just like to uh finish the talk and uh, let me know like if you have any queries i can actually address them yeah rukmini fantastic uh, so yeah so uh, till the time others uh, put in the chat box so let me just begin it so by the time we will give others to put their questions in the chat box so i request others uh, to type your questions in the chat box and i think she can take it up so i have uh, two questions first is uh, 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 about that instant gratification or uh, kind of uh, peer acceptance okay so if you just see is as adolescence okay so that means maturity everybody has to get i mean everybody ha- has to get mature but that does not happens as such if everybody can become buddha at the very young age uh, i don't think uh, we will have a right world it's so it's it's just in the process somebody will get that mature so especially in the adolescent period uh, it could be because of the body uh, metabolism or it could be because of a human nature as such at large we want ourselves to be noted acknowledged because okay. uh, that's a period when both the genders be it uh, uh, male or female they want to be noted uh, and that's a natural process also so how come uh, can this you are saying that if you are in a group of friends or it could be classes or it could be in office that uh, keep the mind balanced and not yield to this uh, uh, i would say crush of recognition or being recognized 
This is my first question. You can take it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, we do not know, sir. Sometimes uh, it actually talks. Uh, words can actually break or make a person. So uh, we do not know like what kind of situation the person is in. And uh, as you said, maturity or uh, uh, the one who is in the res- receiving end may not know like how uh, to handle that. He may not be in that kind of situation before, and they may actually struggle. i'm just telling that uh, for we have to break such kind of shells and come out and pursue the passion so we cannot we cannot avoid such kind of things that's what i wanted to tell because i have seen people who struggle peer acceptance and not pursue their passion at all so they will just uh, it could be because of jealousy but people may not even understand that so, so yeah, but it so, could be the other way around also right i mean uh, just because i have to be accepted i will keep doing things that uh, you all like suppose if i am at a group of 3 people okay uh, yes. because the other 3 have to accept me i will try to do what other 3 are also doing yeah Even that is I'm also there yeah so, yes that is also there in that way they will they will actually see they will over a period of time they'll get exhausted they will not be able to be who they are truly so that that is another kind of stress that they undergo actually so adela uh, 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 that is one thing that i wanted uh, your thing uh, the, the the next uh, thing which i want to ask uh, uh, is on uh, the stress level now it may not be uh, 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 applicable to just your company but let's say any any company of that kind okay typically all service oriented companies or service sectors uh, there will be lot of uh, periods of peak pressures uh, peak office pressures and peak office pressures uh, may not be just because of work it could be because of uh, bossing bossing over by uh, x y z and whatever it is because everybody wants to be reflected in their appraisal because everybody is worried about uh, what i will get in the appraisal i will not say that is wrong but that's a kind of uh, always it is like a rabbit minute a carrot cut you tamari never uh, a running rabbit will get that uh, say so the faster you run the faster the carrot will also run away but anyhow that uh, we are into that kind of a web is it clear and uh, so in in so you would have also come across such situations you may not be immune is it clear so because you are not isolated from the world at the maximum you have conditioned your mind to be insulated right so it has not affected you but i just want you to give some tips how how people can insulate themselves they cannot isolate they have to only insulate from uh, a negative feeling so that's i want to take your uh, call um so it's 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 about it's it's all in the art of telling no sir so it's like uh, uh, we we actually we can work for uh, we we i clock for 9 hours a day so sometimes uh, what happens is like uh, they they'll push us to to so much that they would want to finish jobs uh, much earlier but it can be very well done the next day so i am not uh, asking people to compromise on uh, deliverables but we can we can actually make uh, the boss understand like uh, if i do this right now i will not be able to submit in a good quality but if you give me some time i'll be able to submit in a better quality so that i do not do a rework and waste the client's time and also the my time so most of the times when when we are open when we just talk that what is what is in hand or when we are open to our uh, seniors they actually understand so in that way uh, we can actually negotiate uh, such stress levels or uh, when it, whenever there is a peak work pressure okay Right, good. So uh, you can. There's a question from Vaishnavi. So uh, Vaishu, can you just tell me like what kind of gratitude? Not could you be more uh, specific? Like uh, in a relationship, you mean to say that uh, you you just gave some time for me, and uh, uh, I'm really grateful for that. Uh, uh, is that uh, you mean? acha vaishnavi uh, you can unmute and speak if you want vaishnavi irkala therila ah uh, 
I think I've text panir ka. If you want to unmute and speak, Vaishnavi, you can speak. Okay. okay. Yes. Whatever she says is true. Like uh, whenever you compliment for uh, compliment to your spouse uh, on uh, time, like uh, yeah, whenever he helped you, uh, it would really it will really uh, mold you in a better way, and you can actually uh, it it can uh, it it can take uh, it can make a deeper connection. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, was I was not audible? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was audible. No, please, right. sir. Uh, the other thing is, this is about work. Okay. Uh, uh, the the one thing uh, is uh, how to do this uh, passion thing, especially during uh, uh, the period of graduation, because that's the period of graduation. There is now extraordinary pressure. from all corners be it from the institute or from one's home or one friends or just because you know the family le he has gone to us he is studying in cambridge he is uh, studying from iit and so and so and all a new mark wa gra me ada panne me and the seminar ko right so this is prevalent okay so in this how to conditions one mind in the graduation phase i'm not talking about when one is there in the Uh, uh working face as is within that because uh, why i am asking this you can recollect uh, right from your time i have been telling always that it does not matter what work you do it all matters how you do that work okay because yes. every work that is required for sustenance of life at large is equally divine uh, i mean if i has to be philosophical every work that is required uh, for sustenance of life is equally divine divine their scope or influence might be different the range of effect may be different but their divinity is all same so it does not matter what work you do but it certainly matters how you do that work do you really cherish doing that work or are you just doing it as a robo i mean without being getting connected to this work i tell this to students but it's very difficult for them i do understand when they are in their graduation especially second and third year it's keep comparing not only in the college when they go back home also and during relatives in that kalyana meede avanukku anga vela kadachiruche avanukku in the company la vela kadachiruche avanukku avlo sambalam or ava and the country la iruka whatever it is avano avalo whatever it is so we we need to go through certain things to actually get know uh, what we are and what we really like so we cannot avoid people commenting all these or comparing all these we just have to outgrow we we'll, uh, as we age uh, uh, we'll just outgrow all these and uh, once we find like this is what is giving me happiness you will be in a better frame of mind like okay i need not bother about all these it's up to me like uh, am i true to myself am i not hurt if i'm not hurting others and whatever i do is like uh, it's it's good it's happy both for me and for others then it's it's absolutely you will uh, we will outgrow all this and to uh, to understand all this we actually need few kind of hurdles which would come from such comments actually it's just that uh, over over years we we will be we will realize all this sir fantastic so there's one question okay. you can read the question and answer because otherwise in the video it may not get recorded so you can just okay. read the question okay how to face adjustment issues during different phases of our life like from working women to homemaker wife mom and again resuming job sometimes marriage itself becomes a nightmare for many girls well being a homemaker is an art isn't it so i get i got this question from shravani and uh, so okay i'll just i'll just finish this question yeah yeah um, one by one you can take it up. okay so uh, see it's 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 all in the flow we just have to go with the flow and uh, sometimes what we do is like we think about we want to uh, know how it is going to be in the future and we keep thinking and we never act so when it, uh, in the transition phase you will always get lot of questions and you cannot answer like every single question will not be answered only by living life we'll be able to get the answers for all those questions 
so as you as you just continue with the flow with confidence we will be we will we ourselves will find the find some way and we will also get help uh, at the right moment we will actually um, get some help uh, just like the quote like when you are when the student is ready the master appears that's how uh, life works so when you are really ready to face the situation only you 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 will be given that situation so that's a kind of confidence one should have and uh, that's what uh, takes through all these kind of transition yeah yeah you can continue okay now the next question ma'am how do you think one should estimate oneself is comparing comparing to others is healthy to an extent uh so uh, i would tell like uh, rather comparing i would i would, uh say you could be inspired from someone okay so inspiration it puts you in a better level so that you will do much better once you start comparing what happens is like you will not know what uh, position the other person is in so we actually for uh, i'll just give an example with this digital age for this particular question so uh, we see someone posting a happy picture on instagram we actually do not know like what the person is undergoing so just by uh, just by viewing you cannot viewing a picture we do not know he, she might be smiling on the picture but they would have they would have uh, just dressed up and posted on uh, instagram just to feel good okay so we do not know like what actually the uh, person uh, is undergoing so in that particular case uh, uh it's it's always go into the inspiration mode which will help you uh, to keep you sane and uh, you do not everyone is unique okay you need not estimate with uh, by comparing yourself with someone else so probably you can go into inspiration mode and think like okay i can become someone i can sometime become like one and i will take action for that so that's how uh, it will help uh, uh, nimrita rao ma'am thank you for the question so i think uh, yeah rukmini this is a long question so it is both are from the same uh, shweta mm -hmm. and the two question is set padi set fulla padichittu you can answer ha huh. okay thank you for the session and i have a question why do we expect attention results for those things that bring us joy you said that when you used to post about your thoughts initially you used to go back and check if someone has read it so why is that so because it's it's human okay uh, at at some point of time you do you do uh, as i stated earlier we need to outgrow few things so as you pursue your passion you will start doing art for art sake so this is this is so philosophical to me like when i am in lkg uh, i would i would uh, i would be happy about getting chocolates or star for whatever uh, i do but as i grow i don't mind about uh, getting stars on my mark sheet so this is just like that for initial for the initial period of time uh, sometimes we do get into that it's it's all because of the digital era so probably when uh, back then when people want to publish their art it is it is really really hard uh it doesn't give reach at all so i don't think like uh, uh uh that that would have affected them but they would have definitely felt uh, sad for not being recognized uh for a longer time but it's it's all just human so once as you keep doing that you will actually outgrow all these uh, I... yeah ju just before you go to srinivasan's question just okay. connected to that you said it is a digital era but i i really don't think it just a digital era if for example uh on the last 15 decades after we had a lot of this uh, uh, cable tv and the shows and everything uh 10 varsham part part kattundale you can become famous because you may come in some tv show you will win a prize and and you will get an instant popularity Yeah. or if you are in college let's say suppose if you are pa i am not i'm just taking an example of a dance but it need not be of dance ad correct ave karate va irukalam illa dance a irukalam paata irukalam or debate a irukalam extempore a irukalam but in college le suppose if i am any team and i want prize naliki and the college le irukra ella if i am a boy all girls will know me when i walk through they will say oh even though and the paya win panitaan so that's like an uh, extreme vanity because immediately i became popular compared to my peer uh, is the same do for girls right when that girl walks next day every boy will say you don't have the phone something like that right 
and this is there in tv also we have to accept that uh, most of the times now for 10 years 15 years or 5 years part kathindale we want to take it to some show immediate uh, they should become an ms subalakshmi right yeah. which uh, which is uh, not the case in those ages i will not say it was not there as a character quality because appo and the mari opportunity kadayad right and uh, if really an ms would have thought that na idu mari show la win pannida paakala i don't think it is possible illa right they were trying out but that uh, access how much people will come to know it was very very limited okay whereas yeah. ipo vande there are many forums many means by which uh, you can get known so is that is not driving to what uh, like uh, shweta has asked that uh, we no longer do this for the sake of uh, enjoyment we actually do this because we want to prove ourselves enak par evlo per fans irukanga right in the college la evlo per enak theriyum right if a boy how many girls look to me or if it's a girl the other way around whatever it is so i just uh, want that also ha um, yes sir that's very true it's because of the uh, it's because of so much opportunity that's around us we also feel like okay why don't i use it and why don't i become popular even the greatest of the persons they sometimes they would come to popularity so that, that's what happens with every single person and it's it's all human and once we once we realize that there is no depth in this we would we would start uh, we would stop doing all those and we'll do art for art sake okay so yeah there's a question from srinivasan you can read it thank you thank you shweta so one thing makes me uncomfortable is the fact that i can say to what extent i'm capable of doing a work but when people put me on a higher place than i think i could it's making me insecure or uncomfortable how to handle this yeah this this, uh, this act always happens actually when you do something uh, they just appreciate uh, more than what uh, the efforts went through the point is like uh, we should we should uh, we should keep flushing out of such things like there is there is so much to learn in this world and uh, uh, in the uh, whatever piece of art you have created you can actually create something better you just have to uh, think like uh, only i am i am my own judge and i i'm not satisfied with what i have created right now so i want to create something better so that is that is the thing uh, uh, that that will keep you going and uh, oh, uh, it the insecurity or the uncomfortableness it will not vanish overnight but you just have to hit the desk every day and give your best by doing that you will definitely overcome that or you or else you can just uh, if if it's your uh, parents or if your friends you can just tell them that uh, no this is uh, this is actually making me uncomfortable i don't think i have given my best so uh, do not appreciate like uh, do not appreciate more than what it is required if if it's your parents or your friends you can actually tell them you can ask like uh, suggest me like uh, what are the areas of improvement and how can i actually do a better job so that way it will really help you uh, to overcome your uncomfortableness and insecurity hope i have answered your question shrinivasan yeah how yeah you- there's one one more how do you define maturity in a shortest possible way see the maturity is more like a fruit ripening okay so if it ripens it will automatically fall off from the tree so that's the and it would be the tastiest thing so uh, uh, this is the philosophical kind of explanation that i can give for uh, maturity so it has to come from within when you break a shell from outside it needs lot of effort but when it breaks from inside you can actually find a life in it so that that is what maturity can give people i hope uh, i have yeah. uh, answered your question yes fantastic so yeah so there's I... one more yeah after shrinivasan anita venkat okay thank you shrinivas and uh, if you are at the crossroad in life whether to choose a career you are passionate about or a career that pays you well what thoughts do have to put in choosing so um, uh it depends on many factors for example if you are in a dire need of uh, money 
you can actually choose the one that pays you well at the same time you can uh, follow your passion because sometimes you are uh, you are uh, to improve yourself like uh, if you want to um, if you want to get uh, uh, all your painting equipments and uh, if you do not even have money uh, you will not be able to pursue it so in that case you can actually choose something uh, which is paying you well at the same time you can uh, continue uh, your passion like uh, every day half an hour you can just pursue that and over a period of time as you gain your own confidence that you can become an independent artist at that point of time you can actually resign the job and go behind something that you are passionate about so in any case you just have to find the balance and you should uh, uh, you should never leave your passion even at that stage yeah b- before you go to the next you said uh, is based on the need of money but uh, that depends on uh, whether i am contented with the money so i i so, may have an ambassador car uh, right uh, <laughs> it is up to the it is up to the individual to decide sir so uh, in that case uh, we are we are all independent and freedom beings it's it's up to the individual like how much you want so if you if you naturally want to go uh, uh towards your passion and if you want to if you if you are uh, really contented you you wouldn't be thinking about other stuff yeah so what is this training of contentment means i i really don't understand so for younger generation i mean ipo uh, enak irukra contentment i i am not talking about i am again going back to adolescence okay it is all everybody given a chance wants to pursue passion the most hmm. often right hmm. but the point is how to get that mindset tha is not like nobody wants to do something which they don't like you ask anybody as long as they are uh, very conscious of their brain i mean they are not insane they will immediately tell enak enna pidichiruko adha pannom right it is very easier and nobody uh, wants to do the other way around pidikatha vela yarum panna verumbala matanga but the point is enak edhu theve right so need and edu enak wish aase desire and uh, then comes my contentment is it clear so this is uh, ultimate ultimately yeah, what uh, you are doing one so this i want you to answer like as one how you has to take it from when they join from job onwards yeah continue okay. so uh, when when we join the job right yeah so uh so it it doesn't happen that way sir it's it's the moment you find your passion only from that point you'll be able to think like whether you can whether i can uh, pursue this or whether i can do that because sometimes you would be good at something but it may not really pay you at all so in that case what happens is like uh, you will you will be really needing uh, money so how do you do do that it will not happen there is a tirupural uh, like porulilarki ivulagam illai so you need money to live at some point of time just that like you should have your you, uh, you should be able to come to a state like this is enough for me so that comes only out of experience and maturity <laughs> so uh, i want to tell others actually rukmani uh, was supposed to talk on an another topic which is another extremely very interesting one or rather uh, Uh, if you need to talk, I would say it's partly philosophical because it, it, there is no ready-made answers. It is all from experience one has to get. Whereas the other one, the topic what she had in mind uh, a month before is how to save money when at work to pursue passion, probably something like that. I mean, how to work on your finance. So that is what uh, I, I, I think was another thing. We will definitely have Rukmini uh, on an another talk and say how I should save money when I'm earning. Yeah, look, many. <laughs> okay. So I have one more question. I guess, like, uh, what are the good things of being a religious and spiritual person? Your experience. So, see, uh, ultimately, uh, you you uh, you will be in your positive. You will go towards positive joy. So, joy can be positive or negative. It can it can be of any forms. So, uh, being religious or spiritual, I will call it sp- uh, spiritual probably. it will it will calm your mind and you will be at peace most of the time so that's that's the best thing rather than calling at a calling as a good thing being spiritual okay good good uh, uh so i think we we uh, so if there are any questions we can text now because i cannot keep hold rukmini for a longer time 
there is some other person extremely waiting at home for her now right uh, but uh, if there are any quick questions anybody wants to put it in the chat box you can just put in the chat box so one final question from my end uh, rukmini is uh, uh, any tips on uh, uh, two thing taking care of uh, work pressures especially given your uh, job because that is the job many people uh, will also take up because that that sector has lot of openings is it clear it is unminding of whether it is like we like or not that sector has lot of opening so eventually many graduates will end up going there that's one and the two is uh, what about how to take care of health when working especially in your sector because if there is no good health i don't think fashion and all is just uh, yeah it, it, it just vanishes right so uh, first i will answer the health question okay so that's more important i guess it is uh, we need to we need to work out daily so that's the only thing uh, that one has to do uh, we have to make time for uh, uh, we should make healthy choices be it like uh, eating on time without skipping the breakfast or uh, just doing yoga for 20 minutes so it is all must it should it should definitely come into our uh, lifestyle and we just have to make time for ourselves because uh, so when we are not here, you will not even able to work. You will not even able to follow your passion. You will not there for your family, which is the, which could be the biggest uh, uh, danger for uh, your family actually. So it's, 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 uh, it's individual responsibility uh, to take care of themselves regularly, daily. Uh, and there is no second option for that. And that's, uh, uh, to handle uh, work pressure, that was your question, right, sir? Yes, yes. So, to handle work pressure is that never over-promise any of your deliverables. So, uh, because uh, uh, you will actually know, uh, like, how much uh, you can do in a day. So, it's it's also like uh, your boss, how much, uh, how much he had delivered, you should know. Because sometimes your, uh, he would over-promise the clients and uh, you will be the scapegoat. So uh, slowly you can uh, you can keep telling your uh, um, lead that uh, this is this is how this is how we can do and this much only it can be done for this particular day. So uh, even if you sit for twenty four hours, some things cannot be completed. So you you can you can directly tell uh, being open, uh, saying no to things that are really not required will actually keep your uh, work pressure low. Sometimes it would also give a negative image, but uh, uh, over a period of time, people will really realize that they would also come across. For example, if uh, uh, when you become uh, to a senior position, you will not do that mistake of over promising to your clients. So you will know that only uh, you have this many resources and only you have uh, so much of time, you would definitely ask for uh, additional time. You can very well ask for extra time and finish it earlier. But never uh, give a short span of time and uh, do not extend. That would that would be a biggest negative mark, rather than uh, telling them them like I'll finish it soon. So and also once uh, you take your time and do a quality uh, job, uh, automatically people will understand like uh, okay, uh, even even though she uh, she or he, uh, he or he, he or she is telling the time frame, they are they are giving quality product. So. By that, you can definitely handle your uh, work pressure well. Okay. So, is there any uh, uh, gender-related issues? Uh, I mean, stress or uh, other kinds, uh, especially in this sector. I mean, did yes. you come across? Yes, I have. I, I have also been in such kind of uh, stress, like where uh, there, there sometimes they would uh, people would tell like uh, uh, you are married, so I would not be giving this particular job to you. You just want to take the bag and go home. Ultimately, uh, we should we should be in a position to tell them like yes, I do have a family that is more important currently. So uh, we can definitely we you sh you should definitely clock for nine hours. You should definitely work in that particular time, and you can definitely walk away after nine uh, nine hours of your work. And you can tell them that yes, this is also this is also uh, uh, most important for me, and I have already contributed my thing. And you can check for your quality if you if if it is required. So that's a kind of uh, uh, if you have that kind of confidence on your work on on yourself, you can definitely tell that. Okay. 
good fantastic so that's nice uh, so if there are uh, no more questions i think uh, uh, anybody has questions i i don't think if there are questions so okay so i'll just ask some two three comments for somebody to wrap up so first maybe i would ask uh, if there's anybody uh, Uh, i mean an external person who is attending non shastra wants to speak uh, you can unmute and just give uh, one or two sentence uh, as a feedback of this session is anybody willing to do uh, any non non shastra person who is there on the uh, live now who wants to talk uh, you can just unmute uh, i am not sure okay so i will uh, i'll just call upon from your own classmates i don't want to pick there is a whole lot of people so from uh, uh, rukmini's class 2013 batch may I ask uh, one or two comments who wants to unmute and then talk you are feel free so the 2013 batch someone can unmute Uh, hi sir, uh, this is Keep Your Asan Rukmini's husband. So I would like to have a few yeah. here. So yes, fantastic. I was about. I, I, uh, yeah, Kirti. <laughs> I was about to keep you for the last, but it's good uh, you begin no, no, the show. Right, and I will speak at the last. No, 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 no. You carry on, Kirti. Yeah, carry on. So this is uh, somebody who is. I would say that Ki uh, Rukmini is more blessed. If Rukmini is able to follow the passion, I think. Uh, There is an invisible contribution of the person who is now speaking. Yeah, Kirti. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> that I think. Uh, 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 thank you for those words, sir. Okay. Uh, the, uh, thank you for organizing uh, such a wonderful event, sir. And uh, it was a really a fantastic one. So uh, I think actually this uh, whatever Rukmini spoke is uh, nothing new to me because uh, each and every day I receive this as a lecture. uh from her uh, so, <laughs> so this is something uh, nothing new to me so she uh, uh, she actually uh, spoke uh, in a very sugar coated words so uh, so it, uh, i hope everyone uh, enjoyed that and uh, yes so uh, uh, rukmini herself has uh, inspired me a lot uh, in following the passion and uh, literally i would say that uh, post marriage uh, my i uh, uh, my lifestyle got uh, changed so i could see many questions uh, from the people working from uh, corporate sector how to handle the pressure appraisal and everything okay so even i was also under uh, pressure uh, competitive uh, i used to be very competitive work for some uh, 13 14 hours so i was uh, looking for a promotion it, it, everything i was uh, doing i would never say no in my life uh, so till i got married so after uh, getting married uh, nowadays i am telling more no's <laughs> because of which i didn't uh, uh, lose many things. maybe i would have got a promotion with some uh, 15000 uh, hike uh, to my uh, uh, on the uh, uh, paranam uh, uh, what, what is it that uh, package okay so but yeah. i am uh, leading a very good uh, i mean a very uh, i am at uh, peace always okay i am talking uh, Uh, learning lots of new things okay i was uh, um, i am a movie buff okay i am a cricket buff i am a politics uh, uh, politics buff okay i also wanted to write short stories i i will be blogging something so each and everything improved and increased uh, in this way i mean uh, out of work all these uh, kind of things uh, improved uh, because uh, because of her uh, my wife's in, uh, inspiration only and her motivation only and uh, one more thing i would like to uh, give a uh, um, answer someone asked like um, uh, how to choose a, a career if i am passionate about a career whether to choose that or uh, uh, whether to uh, uh, opt a career that would uh, pay me uh, like uh, it will be filling my bank, uh, bank account okay so so what i would say is uh, whenever i read about uh, many uh, political uh, stalwarts or uh, industrialists okay so uh, even some uh, film uh, pattern piece and all uh, i would uh, take uh, mr k balachandra uh, the veteran director so as an example okay so what he did was like uh, he was working uh, for uh, aj's office okay and uh, he pursued his passion during the evening times in the weekdays okay 
so he used to uh, run drama troops okay he directed many stage plays uh, written he was a playwright and uh, he utilized his weekends to pursue his passion so after a point of time his past passion become a profession okay so we can take lots of such examples uh, from the public life uh, and they can inspire us uh, how to balance between both our passion and our profession so this thing i would like to uh, add uh, with uh, as an answer someone has the uh, earlier okay so yes. so that's what all i had uh, thank you for the wonderful session uh, yeah. Thanks for yeah, your time. Thanks, thanks, Kirti. Yeah. So Kitty. that means Rukmini is there. Blog, I am not reading. I know. I understood. <laughs> right. Right. But only one complaint Rukmini has. I think uh, you know, you have QA secrets. All that. So, no, it's it's because I didn't ask him. Oh, good. <laughs> right. Yeah. So somebody from uh, Rukmini's batch uh, who wants to unmute uh, and speak. sir danya yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. danya uh, first of all ruku it was very awesome Thank i you so the much. first time ela i have heard of her talking her philosophies etc so many times but this time i could see it in a very constructive way she is presenting to so many people out there so it was a good experience i am really proud of her as my friend and uh, yes i to have lot of questions to ask her but this platform is not enough maybe i should <laughs> take a counseling from her <laughs> that i will do it backstage Anyway, thank you, Rukmini, and thank you, sir, for organizing this. Yes, thank you so much, Danya. Right. Uh, so, anybody else who, who wants to unmute and speak? Uh. Hi, uh, this is Abita. Thank you, Ruku. It was very nice. Uh, you were the first person to whom I spoke when we came to Shastra, and uh, uh, the travel has been very good. And uh, it is i'm so happy to see you travel with different faces of life and the way you have handled everything and i did get a personal advice at some point of life when i really needed it and it was very helpful uh, it was a nice session thank you thank you sir thank you Abhi. yes yes a uh, junior uh, should specifically know that when abita told this is the first person whom i want to meet uh, uh rukmini and her friends have another credit also very first day uh, rukmini is one of her friend the place that uh, their friend asked is where is library <laughs> in shastra <laughs> right i think she's also in the call yeah yeah unfortunately her mic is on mute yes <laughs> so this is that kind of batch where college le join pannone one girl asked and another girl chalo if a free period library ku pola Right. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Good. So and she uh, answered uh, in the chat. Yeah. 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 She yeah. she okay. answered in the chat. Yes. Right. So so I anybody? Yar, Pesra. Shravani. Yeah, Shravani. Yeah, yeah. Shravani. Yeah. Carry on. Hello, Shravani. I think uh, some mic problem, Shravani. Okay, so I I don't think uh, we are able to hear. So anybody uh, else from the current batch, whoever wants to speak, you can speak. And uh, so may I? Yeah, as Shweta, yeah, carry on. Yeah. Uh, so thank you, Rukmini, for such an inspiring speech. Uh, I would say it's inspiring because. Uh, Uh, i think all those things you've said is probably those things which we really want to hear from someone and uh, probably no one had until now so thank you for the speech and uh, i just want uh, i just want to say that i could totally relate to your speech because uh, when you said that uh, the joy is in the process of doing something and not in the results i could only think of my project days with naren sir because uh, Uh, at the end of uh, getting the grades, uh, I couldn't really enjoy it. I couldn't really enjoy the grades that I got because I could only remember those days when I got caught uh, bird watching or uh, finding some stars in the sky or uh, eating all the time. So those were the little little things that I could actually remember. Uh, I guess uh, we have all uh, un subconsciously would have done this because. Uh, at the end of getting the results we would only cherish it for a very short span of time we will only remember how we got there so uh, i only 
I could only think of my project days when we were talking about it. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think that we all need the uh, vent uh, to get away from this life uh, that we have. Like uh, it's like all um, like you said, instant gratification. It's all very. Um, confusing and uh, we might uh, get lost in the way so passion is something that uh, gives us joy it gives us a purpose and it keeps us moving it will bring us uh, back from uh, where we fell so thank you so much for this talk uh, today yes i really enjoyed it thank you thank you shweta for joining uh, despite uh, what is going around thank you so much right uh, yeah uh, so if there are uh, no others anybody else Okay, so, so uh, hello, um, hello, um, hello, Shravani. You are you speaking? No, I think we are not able to hear you, uh, Shravani. So that's uh, okay. So if there are hello, Rukmini. Yes, sir. Are you able to hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. So I think if uh, if there are any any yeah, Shravani understood. So there are mic issues. It's okay. So if there are no other comments, uh, let me formally thank uh, Rukmini. Uh, so thank you, Rukmini. That uh, indeed you have shown one more thing that uh, of passion of connecting to alma mater. Okay. So if one one person wants to connect to alma mater, they will always find uh, time. They will always make time. They will always. Uh, uh find ways and means to connect to alma mater and and give back from where they have grown up so that's that's the first thing which i want to thank you so thanks a lot and uh, i hope uh, this is very interesting to all the all the people who are on live today and who will also see eventually this on youtube and uh, my thanks to all the external people uh who who attended and i hope that you are benefited uh, from this talk if there are any questions you want to ask you can uh, take numbers of or email id of rukmini from the person uh, who uh, known to you and then i think you can do that and uh, my thanks also to kirti i think uh, uh, that's a invisible force uh, of uh, rukmini's present life now so thanks uh, for making her to pursue the passion yeah rukmini yeah i i would like to thank uh, all people who joined today and i also uh, i would like to thank uh, my parents my husband kirti and my in laws and my 8 uh, month old daughter who is still there playing and not crying <laughs> i should i should really thank her for all these and uh, it's uh, i will also like to say this uh, this community uh, is really doing good and i am really loving uh, loving the instagram posts that i come across every day so it's it's really fun and just keep going do not stop like what you are doing and i really feel like i've been bored with uh, too many stops today so yeah. thank you uh, thank you so much yes for this so opportunity that, uh, yeah the srinivasan who asked your question is actually the current uh, editor of communic oh so that's the person who asked you the question right okay that's yeah. great so yeah so thank you all uh, i'll just stop the recording